Hi, my name is Claudia, my middle name is Dora, and I've recently started this channel Flora Dora to talk about houseplants because that's one of the things I really love. Today is kind of like a cozy snowy day outside. I'm gonna take a break from my Harry Potter series. Today I thought I would talk about plants that I have gotten recently. Like it's kind of like a plant haul, but not within a short period of time. But they're plants that I've gotten somewhat recently, like in the past few months, and that I feel like I haven't given any attention to yet on my channel. And so I'm just gonna talk about them. Full disclosure, there are quite a few. And so I'm going to talk about them pretty briefly, say the name, why I like them, and then, and then move on, okay? I think we'll do it genus by genus or just plant group type by plant group. We'll start with Hoya, which has been probably my favorite plant genus this year. So starting off with our Hoya Crinkle 8. So it's literally called Crinkle 8 because there are eight little divots in it. I love Hoyas. I love their thick succulent like leaves and I'm excited to see what this plant will do. It's got a really cool shape. Okay, next up, Hoya. Hoya macrophylla. So I actually got this from, from a Etsy seller that I really like. I think this was from Planted Roots Company. And they sent me two. I ordered one and they sent two. Anyway, you can see the outline around these like big veiny leaves. I really, really like this plant. You hear Gravy cry? <laughs> hey, Bubba. Hi, hi, Gravy girl. Uh, second last Hoya is my Hoya Australis. And to be honest, it's not my favorite Hoya of all time. Although I do still like the big leaves, but they're not as thick as my other Hoyas I've noticed. It was for a really, really, really good price at one of the local plant stores that I really like supporting. And so I, I got it to add to my collection and I am excited to see what it will do. Final Hoya. This is um, one that I was gonna put on my wish list. For 2021 so this is a Hoya Cartesii and it's just like little cuttings right now I actually asked my like local plant store that I was talking about if they had Hoya Cartesii they brought me up to the top room actually I think I was looking for a crinkle aid at the time but they brought me up to the plant room upstairs and let me buy a couple of cuttings of their Cartesii um, which was really great. So now I'm rooting it in like some sphagnum moss that I just keep pretty moist and in open air. Now time to scoop all my Hoyas away. Okay, next up. This might come as a surprise. In the past, I haven't really gotten the appeal of begonias. I think that's mainly because I saw them as a plant that was unrealistic for me care-wise. I thought, because I did have a Rex begonia before and I couldn't keep humidity high enough. And so it crisped up and it died. And I still have a root ball of it, just like maybe in case it you know, throws a hand one day. Throw hands, something I think is so funny. Um, I th Harley G says it when like a plant is putting out new leaves and I think Plant May Ashley does too. Um, but they say it's like throwing hands, which I think is hilarious. So I like saying that too. Like begonias, but I've been getting ones not like terrarium begonias cause I don't have Uh, um, anyway, I'm not ready to get terrarium begonias. I know that I, I don't have a terrarium and I can't really like afford to do a setup like that right now. Um, and so I stay away from those like really small and delicate begonias. However, 
I really like the larger begonias that are a little tougher and I'm next to my grow light not getting any direct light from it so they don't crisp up um, and then next to a humidifier and they seem to be liking it so I have a weird assortment and I don't know all the correct names I don't think but it's a new new grounds for me so this one is one of my favorites right now I just have it in its nursery pot in this little mug that just says little america with a little penguin uh begonia angel wing brazilian lady and so this one is one of the ones with fuzzy leaves and it has red like fuchsia undersides i just really like the angel wing begonia leaf shape so i actually really like this plant and the underside is really interesting um next up i got it from the same place it's just like a building supply store that has um, decent plant selection sometimes. Sonia Fuchsia Red. Um, it sends out these beautiful little flowers. It was just flowering, but I think it dropped them all. It's really small. I just have it in this little painted cup. It still has that long shaped leaf that I really, really like. Next up, we have my favorite begonia right now that I own. And it is my pink cane angel wing begonia i love the speckles on it i can't afford a begonia maculata so this little guy will do i love the spots i think they're so cute and this guy's setting out new growth he just like really seems to be thriving under my hair which is like all i needed to get back into begonias because i just thought that it was out of my expertise those spots come on oh this one's ridiculous that's so cool yeah i love this plant i really do okay next two begonias up i actually just received from planted roots company so i got a package from planted roots company they were having a crazy sale the other day on cyber monday i think there are two begonias this is wrapped really well would have just seen an unboxing but I thought I'd like say the names and stuff so let me pull up the Etsy receipt just so I'm sure also I cut my hair you didn't notice look at my new clips they're like wavy well they're still kind of like hurting from shipping so first is our begonia torch I, I haven't brushed off its leaves yet so it still has dirt on its leaves but it's another speckled angel wing begonia dark green top and these red underneath which i really like that and then this is the begonia dawn miller it's a special breed that they made i think again i don't know too much about begonias at this point i just am really interested in the shapes of their leaves oh look at that speckling pattern it's just amazing <laughs> isn't it amazing okay next genus up we have peperomia so first is this peperomia angulata i just found at my local grocery store I think, but I'm not sure. So correct me if you know the answer. I think its common name is string of beetles. So it has these like thick striped leaves. Let's see if I can get a better close up there. I, I just love the thick leaves on peperomia. Okay, next up we have our peperomia serpents. So this is a plant I really like because I think it looks like one of my favorite plants, the heartleaf philodendron or um, heteraceum. So it has these like beautiful heart-shaped leaves. Shout out to the channel heart-shaped leaves. This guy has just been in a north-facing window and he's been shooting out new growth like crazy. It also, I was surprised because I was expecting the same texture as the philodendron heteraceum. These leaves are actually like really thick which again I really really like. And finally in the peperomia family I have a peperomia ginny. So this one I also just got from the grocery store. Look at the red around the edges of the leaves. 
This one is great because I love Harry Potter and just the name Ginny with the red around the edges makes me think of Ginny Weasley. Okay, that's my Peperomia collection. <laughs> I forgot one begonia. This is my little boy in a bubble. So <laughs> I actually, so I made a makeshift terrarium for this final begonia that just lives in my area. I trade it my burgundy rubber tree that was really small and it just wasn't doing anything for me and I, I've talked about selling it before on this channel um, but I traded it for a begonia that's like a totally dead silver leaf begonia the only leaf it has is like crumpling up I made this little terrarium I, I put like um lacquer balls on a plate and put some water and then my begonia on top and then I took an empty peanut butter jar to make a makeshift dome so let's see if it pumps out any more leaves because its current only leaf is looking like a goner at this point my next category up is assorted succulents and cacti so i am from arizona and so i'm like very used to cacti and i think early on in like my plant journey i was really drawn to like only very lush green plants and now that I just like having an interesting and varied collection. I think they add some diversity to my plant collection and I'm kind of drawn to them again. So starting off, this is just a new one from my friend um, Sydney. She had a succulent that kind of started getting out of control and so I helped her divvy it up and so she has some of it and she gave part of it to me. I don't know what like most of these succulents or cacti are named so just gonna have to bear with me and I also just drop random little prop lifts in here this one has like a whole baby coming off some roots so we'll see what happens in this weird pot next up is another gift from a friend this is from Katie who was my secret Santa and it's a variegated jade I think think yeah I think it's a variegated jade plant which is really exciting to me because I actually had a propagation of a jade leaf that died on me next up this guy no clue what he is it has these red leaves and this kind of sagey eucalyptus colored inside of the leaves and he's doing really well too he's in a north facing window it's just chilling this is one of the guys that correct me if I'm wrong looks like a cactus but i think is actually just technically a succulent it's got very soft spines and just all these babies popping out from basically every single spine it kind of looks like bunny ears to me this guy don't know what he is he has very sharp and hard spines and at the top he gets a little paler and i really like that like deviation in color looks like the port like the latte art effect this is my favorite cacti of all this is my variegated apuntia this is a plant that i think is so cool it has variegation on its pads this side of this pad is my favorite and then moving up we've got all sorts of variegation and then some little pink flower buds going on over there and then this weird guy at top. this is a plant that i thought would be like 40 bucks and it was 12 bucks at a local nursery Anyway, I think it's really, really cool. Next category is literally just all over the place. The first is my philodendron Burl Marks. This guy recently got shipped and his leaves kind of had a hard time after the shipping, like this one's dying. Like the stripiness is how the leaves normally look, but this one's a little more yellow than I would like, so this one might be going. But I'm not too worried because if you can see on the back, there's like seven new points of growth. I'm really excited to see what this guy will do. I'm not too worried about those leaves. I wasn't really expecting them to do too well in shipping just because it's a little cold when they shipped. And or this plant is kind of a funny acquisition because I got one of those poinsettia like varied pots from Walmart because it had a ton of Marble Queen and Snow Queen like pothos in it. It had been dropped to an $8 sale for this giant pot of it. And stuck in there was this little guy. Yeah, he's very cute and pink. Um, and then there's another little mystery plant down here that was in the pot as well. So we'll see how this does. I just have it at a north facing window. This is my Anthurium crenatum. But I was just drawn to these crazy 
orchid-like roots. I keep the soil pretty moist and I have this guy actually sitting a little plate with water and Lekka balls just like that one makeshift terrarium begonia I have. And so it stays pretty moist and I have it by a south window, uh, but it's not getting direct light, it's just getting some like, bright indirect light, but look at those roots. So cool. Very cool. This collection of, honestly, I need to tell the difference between like Snow Queen and Marble Queen. It's like these are very white. They're coming across as kind of yellow on camera. This one is like half dark green and half speckled. So I have one propagation of a Marble Queen. I got just two leaves and a like a root. But I love the look of this plant. And so when I saw a full pot, basically for like eight bucks along with some other tag along plants i was like i'm gonna give you a second shot at life because you don't deserve to die disguised as a seasonal plant but that's like kind of the end of my long-term haul of just like some plants i got recently and haven't really talked about yet so i always play with my hair in these videos but the viewfinder is facing me and so i'm like oh i don't like that i have to change it I need to eat food, I'm fucking lightheaded. Shout out Josie for this mug, by the way. Have I really only been talking for three minutes? That makes me nervous that I wasn't filming. Ooh. Maybe it has been three minutes? I don't know. We'll see later. Okay, I'm just gonna keep filming right now and then we'll see what I got. Actually, no, I can't live with myself if I don't.